In the blue, Shaq is playing Jerome, and he's already done some stuff. So he's come over here, denied the grunt, and <laughs> throw down some mines. He's not messing around. No, absolutely not. And in the red, we have Almirante playing as Shipmaster. This game's already getting pretty, uh, like, spicy early on here. We have a lot of uh, map control starting even with only eight and nine population respectively that's a lot going on here it looks like Shaq is gonna go into Jerome fourth building with the uh, armory here and we have Almirante going into shipmaster fourth building with his work council oh man so, so that's both players good. are gonna have a there's gonna be some serious leader micro early on here Except Jerome can't see what he can't see. <laughs> the Honor Guard will be really tough to deal with here. Yeah, he may have to put uh, some watchtowers down and fight under his base or something along those lines. Or he, oh, he's going into snipers. Okay, seriously. That's... Yeah, that is how's he gonna afford this? Big brain. How's he gonna afford that? The Jerome leader is the most expensive leader in the game he's gotten the law of the power so okay I can, I, I can totally see it yeah oh he just bought another mine okay that's gonna make it difficult that's a lot of power oh man <laughs> uh we do have the drum leader finally coming out and it looks like he is about to purchase the upgrade um mm -hmm. we do uh, have shipmaster uh his honor guard this could be well. just flamers yeah, Hellbringers are coming out. Oh, no. That's not good. Especially if there's going to be ghosts from Almirante, which there are. Obviously, ghosts oh, are really man. good at ramming down the Jerome hero. And holy crap, claps for days actually dropped 2,500 biddies. That's a lot of biddies. Thank you. For real? That's a... Uh... What is with people today? Oh, my gosh. Look at this. The Jerome is going to fall. Oh, no. That's rough. The The upgrade did just come up. He is getting slapped. Oh, and he drops it on himself, but that doesn't matter. That didn't even take the shield down. Yeah. I wasn't game. even looking at that. I was looking at the flamers. Oh my and that... gosh, no. No. Yeah, that was so quick. That, well, three minutes and 11 seconds. Shaq takes out the, uh, he's going for that node. And then Almirante just comes in and oh. kills it with the shippy. Oh my gosh. Dude, what the hell? That was the quickest game we've had in any of our tournaments thus in far. In any tournament, yeah. Have fun uploading that. <laughs> I, I, I don't even think I've I don't even think I've had one of these in my personal tournaments. Like uh -uh. That's insane. Don't go to Roman Fishers. Shaq is ready to not die this time. He's going <laughs> forge. And Almirante in the red is going Arbiter. Let's see if uh, we can see a similar game to last game. So, Almy picked Arby. I feel like he may go leader and be like, you know, that worked last time with uh, the leader. Why don't I just pick his leader off again, but with a similar, similar composition? I can see it. It's possible that he'll go for the early Arby there, but it, it won't be able to catch the Forchog. Yeah, looks like he is not. Um, we do have... Uh, Almirante losing a... Ooh, wow. Great pick here from Shaq. He mm -hmm. got one of the, uh, one of the grunts down pretty early. Although the grunt took a lot of that power. Yeah, oh yeah, he almost got all, th all hundred there. Ooh. He's got the sides as well, uh, with the ghost and the other grunt. So mm -hmm. all that's left is the ones on the side and a little bit on Almirante's side as well. Almi is going into a, it looks like a second generator. He is floating 500. He is, he's going for a fast tech up here. Okay. Uh, he is already at 700 power as well. He is building up the second power extractor. He may be teched up in the next, you know, skew that up in the next 20 seconds. Uh, looks like we have 21 population versus Almirante. Uh, this is similar to what Shax did versus Exo. It is similar. Same leader pick, yeah. Except and for... Pretty much the same the... build, but there's no no barracks this time from Shaq. That's the big difference. Yeah. 
Uh, we don't see any snipers at all here. Almirante is already queuing up Tech 2. It will be up in about uh, 30 seconds. Hold up a second. That second extractor never got upgraded. This is like a super fast Tech 2 build. Yeah. I am curious what he'll do with it. Of course you can just spam grunts. Uh, as you wait for the power and, you know, then you get the hero. It's actually really strong with the Conduit of Rage. Mm. He is already tech 2 as well. He is going into raid camps. Uh, he is All building right. two raid camps at the same time. So it looks like he will be going into, I guess, mass rangers. Or hunters. Or rangers and hunters. Conduit of Rage suicide grunts into the base. Ooh, enforcers as well. <laughs> he has everything he needs from raid camps. Good job, Arby. Elite Rangers. He's playing safe. Yep. Cool. I, I would too, especially against 54 population of Marines here, all coming up to your your first node. <laughs> yeah, they'll make quick That's work so of the Sentinels. Already three nodes captured, and Shaq probably gonna go up to five at this rate. It's gonna take a while until the rangers build up in a sufficient number. Almi's playing very unorthodox compared to uh, most people, I would say, because he took his minis late, which you don't normally do on Rift for a mini steal, no. as well as he didn't take any of his nodes. So, um, it's kind of unorthodox, I would say. Looks like we do have some grunts falling here, but the rangers are coming in to back it up. Shaq is going to have to immediately back up with even seeing that first ranger. Oh, and he's going to turn back around because he notices there's only one. <laughs> Ami has done some decent wiggles to dodging the nades. What? Scatterbomb versus Space Mine. They don't. They did blow up all the all the mines, so that's good. Yeah. And the Marines kind of trading against this. It's it's nice. Okay. Okay. Trade that Ami is. Power. Yeah, that's not a bad trade, especially because he's, uh, you know, working on trying to get to Tech 2. He is still only at 800 power. Okay, but he's, he's gonna, gonna actually kill the units, because they'll come back. Like, Conor's yeah. afraid to heal them back up. You can't leave them alive. Oh, no. He kind of anti micro that one, spread out the damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is down to only 9 Marines left in that unit ball. Yeah. Um, whereas we have Almirante up to 50 population again. He has caught up. Those rangers did exactly what they needed to do here. Uh, Almi looks like he may be trying to get his expo because he's trying to clear out the front. We'll see though. Shaq's expo is built on his natural and he is starting to get some stuff up on it. He built that before he got his tech two upgrade. And he's going for a third base. Shaq really likes a lot of bases. He really does. He macros up oh so gosh. hard, but uh, at some point you have to be worried about what the Amorazia can do with the Enforcer drops. Actually, he just makes yeah. them straight up because he has enough Rangers to, to support that kind of play. Arbiter is still really, really far away from being made. No second base from Amorazia whatsoever. So he's just hoping to kill these bases and I guess then expand? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, 73 population from Almirante, 254 right now. We may see the drop soon from Forge, uh, depending on when he gets his uh, fourth point. But that drop would do catas- uh, his uh, Kodiak drop would do catastrophic damage to Almirante's army right now. Oh, there's some flamers. Let's see what those can do. Ooh, Not much against the Conduit of Rage units. Even the Grunts yeah. would be able to kill them. Without that Dispersion Nozzles upgrade, it's not going to do as much as he wants it to. No, Looks like... it was the right idea, but a little yeah. late. Oh, man. Yeah, he's just trying to do as much damage as he physically can to this base right now. Uh, get it down early on while Shaq uh, is building his third base on Almirante's side. Oh, see, I think Almirante. this is going to be a quick one. We're seven minutes yeah. in, which means Almirante is about to reach his fourth point. Uh, he, he'll just drop some more enforcers, I think. Yeah, he, he should be able to just drop him straight in and take this base out. Zero turrets on the base, 77 population, 24. Almirante just showing exactly why he is one of the top players in the game here. You know, I wouldn't have immediately walked up to that base if I knew that, uh, 
that he was already tech two or he had that Kodiak drop, but Omni's like, nah, I don't care. We'll just go straight to it. Yeah, Matt, he's even putting the generators into stasis, <laughs> so they're not <laughs> making any money. Ooh. Good lag pop ah, there. Ah, he's uh, putting the other way. Splits. Ouch. That's hurt. Yep. Did not get out of that time. Took a good amount of damage, but that is the game. Yeah, he still had enough stuff left over. All the best coming spread, in. But when you have that big of an army, it doesn't matter. 2-0 in 10 minutes. Wow. He's not wasting time, so... No, Almi's, yeah, uh, he sorts of the out. Ready for the next one, I guess. He says, bring me rock gem is what's going to happen here. Is Almi no is else? already ready for... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to all our patrons. You enable us to make better content, host larger tournaments, and to give more back to the community. If you haven't already, make sure to collect your perks. Our next Patreon goal is set at $300. It will allow us to double all tournament prize pools in Season 2. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.